Thanks for joining us on the NBC Connecticut YouTube channel. I'm Mike Heideck, along with Rudy Marconi, Connecticut Council on Small Towns. Did correct. I get that right? That's correct. Uh, we're talking face to facts this morning and the concerns about um, bonding not being taken care of until after the new year. Uh, a lot of small towns that are members in cost. That's correct. Uh, over 100, over, you told me. Over 110. Right. right. Uh, depend on this money, what do they use it for? Uh, tar money, town aid. Road money is used for paving. Many small towns, this is their entire budget for paving. We have to commit to contractually uh, obligating our municipalities a year in advance to get the paving schedule set. When that money doesn't come forward, it's panic time. Do we have to go for a special appropriation? Is it going to happen in that? Uncertainty uh, in our capital is creating a lot of anxiety for us. So the sooner it gets addressed, the better. When you have that anxiety and you have over 100 members saying, look, we need to get an answer on this, mm -hmm. what do you do? Do you go, are, are lobbyists in Hartford saying, we need some answers. What? Absolutely. We're calling the governor's office, OPM, all of the alphabet soup in Hartford to right. try and stimulate as much as we can the importance of what we're waiting for and the impact that potentially can have, this can have. Now, if people don't understand the, the Council of Small Towns, what you all do, we were talking about three buckets of funding that you're, all small towns are concerned about in all towns yes. of Connecticut. Right. What are they again? Okay, so town aid road money used for paving. Right. Uh, LOSIP, local, local capital improvement program. So that would be capital sidewalks. capital program used for sidewalks, long-term projects. Uh, and also the municipal uh, projects fund, uh, which we get a percentage of the sales tax that was increased a couple of years ago to help municipalities financially make it through some of these capital projects we need to take on. Because we know, well documented, Connecticut's budget crisis continues to go down the road year after year, administration after administration. All right. Is it difficult for you to plan year to year when it comes Absolutely. to situations like this? Absolutely. Uh, in our town, and I can only speak for Richfield on right. this, and not speaking on behalf of all the municipalities right. and cost, but I know I have become very hesitant and for the most part do not budget any revenue out of the state. Uh, we, we look at ECS, that's about 600000 for us. Mm -hmm. It's not the end of the world, but it's a lot of money to some. Right. I wish I had it in my uh, pocket. Yeah, but other towns probably feel a little bit more Absolutely dependent, dependent. on that, especially if you're going to budget it. Right. Um, so we have learned to be very, very cautious with the legislature and whether they're going to fund or not fund. And your hope moving forward is? Stabilization. Let's get this show on the road and get Connecticut moving forward. Mr. Marconi, we appreciate your time. Thanks Thank for joining you. us on Face the Facts. This is Face the Facts with NBC Connecticut.